Today was a very special day at the University of Michigan. The Detroit Observatory was rededicated in ceremonies marking the end of a remarkable restoration project. In a story you'll see only on four, meteorologist Paul Gross has more on this fascinating history of the second oldest building on U of M's campus. The Detroit Observatory is considered one of the most historically significant scientific buildings in all of America. And its story is as much a story of people as it is the story of a building. Walking through the front door is like walking back in time to the 1850s. For a scientific building, I think that this is probably the most exacting restoration I know of. Built in 1854, the Detroit Observatory was the goal of Henry Philip Tappan, the University of Michigan's first president. With Detroiter Henry Walker leading the fundraising efforts, Tappan journeyed to New York and ordered this Fitz Refractor Telescope, second largest in the world at that time. He then traveled around Europe, eventually ordering this Meridian Circle Telescope as well as an astronomical clock in Berlin. Then, a monumental announcement. Franz Brunov, one of Europe's most prominent astronomers, would become the observatory's first director. He was a very eminent scientist, brought the observatory to the forefront of science uh, instantly just by his appointment. The observatory became a national center of prominent research. Using a chronograph, Ann Arbor's longitude was established in 1861, which became the basis for accurate land surveys all the way to California. The observatory's second director, James Watson, discovered 22 asteroids. Its third director, Mark Harrington, later became the first ever director of the U.S. Weather Bureau. But the university campus eventually grew, and the observatory gradually got hemmed in, eventually falling into a state of disrepair. Now, a $1.4 million renovation project has restored the observatory and its original instruments to their former glory as Henry Tappan's pride and joy. And after he left the university in 1863, he reflected back on his achievements at Michigan, and the observatory was really the thing that he was the most proud of. I'm Paul Gross, News 4. Well, the observatory is being turned into a museum, which eventually will be open for limited public tours. A little history. One more reason to be a proud Wolverine, right? <laughs>